Hey, welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in Exodus chapter 28 now and today verses 39 and 40. Let's read. You shall weave the tunic of checkered work of fine linen and shall make a turban of fine linen and you shall make a sash in the work of a weaver. For Aaron's sons, you shall make tunics and you shall also make sashes for them. You shall make caps for them for glory and for beauty. So we're just going to pause there and just take those two verses today. Uh, morning by morning, we're trying to work our way through all this and break it out into logical bits. So what do we notice here? Uh, this is not just Aaron. Now, Aaron is the high priest, and so he's kind of like in the front of the line here and everything that happens. But uh, notice here as we're going through the garments for the high priest and all these things that, that God is not putting up one person. It's not, not like Aaron is going to be the only priest. There is a priesthood. There is a system of priests. There is a whole uh, selection of people who are actually going to serve as priests. And so God isn't setting up a priest, he's setting up a priesthood. And that's an important piece for us to recognize. Of course, as Christians today, we are all priests who recognize a priesthood of believers, Protestantism at least does. Uh, but it's also true that, that you know, as Protestants, we have a great high priest. You say, what, what, what do you mean, Protestants? No, no, that's, you're thinking the, the Catholic, no. Jesus is our great high priest. Every believer in Jesus has a high priest, it's Jesus. Jesus is our Lord. He's also our, our great high priest, the apostle of our profession, and so on. There's different things he's called in the Bible. But we will notice here that, that God set up a priesthood. We're all involved. We're all to be connected with Jesus as he, he intercedes and we intercede for people. But Jesus is our ultimate priest. But there's still a priesthood. We are, do not become like Jesus. Uh, Jesus is divine, and you and I are finite, very limited. We don't always smell right. God is, is beautiful and perfect. So anyway, here there's just some more about the the robe the, that the priest wears. And this is worn under the other garments, and it's worn for glory and beauty. So everything associated with God is, is connected with glory and beauty, and it should be that way. We should give God our highest respects. We should pay attention. When he says, uh, stand here, we should stand here. When he says, stand there, we should stand there. He's the creator. He designed us. He designed everything about us. He designed our human sexuality. He designed it. It's messed up today by uh, the, the way the world works, but it's still true. What is still there, what God originally put there, can be corrected. And so God is good to us, and we want to follow all of his guide and let him be our helper. So we are watching here as God is laying, to, putting together, laying out a priesthood, a plan for his people to bring them up out of the bondage of slavery and bring them into a better place with him. If they pay close attention, it'll be a short trip to the promised land. If they don't, it might take, might take decades and decades. Anyways, we're getting ahead of our story, but uh, that's all for this morning. See you tomorrow morning as we continue our study. Come on back and see me. Thank you.